Saturday locals, time to destroy everyone. Let's keep the undefeated streak going, boys. Two turnings in a row, two dubs in a row, let's make it three in a row, let's go. Yo, you're all losing today, boys. Is that a wild John Wilkin? Yeah, I'm fucking right, it is. Kill the news, Steven. What news? I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody else is fighting for fifth so, place at Charlotte because Game Nation's taking the top four spots. Oh, that's facts, boys. Let's go. Let's go. You, you're going to whoop my ass? Yeah, of course I am. Ah, I'm going to nice video. Amazing, amazing. You winning today? No, I'm not sure. I'm playing something real today. Weird. What the heck? You're what is it? No, what are no, you? No, no, no. What are you? Oh, oh. Yo, bro, so here's the plan, okay? You're going to take your hero deck, right? No. No? no not I mean, your hero deck's hella yeah, expensive, no, so I hope not. not. Boys, we're both playing the best deck after Pendulum, obviously. So I already know we're both gonna, this is gonna be the finals right here. So I said, our deck is the best deck right now. And it just, I don't know what it is. It just doesn't lose. You guys saw the last two locals. I misplayed 10 times. I literally put my dropsies back and it was my only dropsies I still won. Like, it's just absurd how good this deck is, this format especially. I don't even know why. Yo, Alan, there's a lot of talent in the room today. Who do you think is going to win? I think you're going to win. Ah! I you hear that, Hero God? Wait, wait, you think the Hero God's going to win? You think the Hero God is going to win? Wow. Victor, you playing? Yeah. Victor's going to win then. Oh, the, he's going to win the last prize award. Ha, ha, ha. Who's your champion to win the, the massive OCS we're going to have on April 30th? I don't know, man. There's going to be a lot of talent. Andrew, you coming through for the big event? Oh, yeah. My rematch versus the hero god. I'm coming for you. Daga is will not touch the field, bro. You're gonna be 0 for 3 if you lose this against heroes in 401. <laughs> Hold on. You you can't just say the last few L's, okay? How about all the other dubs before that, right? It's true. It's, it's true. Okay, I'm gonna win this. Let's go. Locals time, baby. Let's go. I'm so excited for this because I need to get my revenge. Always end up losing to the, to the hero god right here. Let's go. If you guys are ready for this video, I want you guys to prepare yourselves for absolute non-pendulum greatness. I know typically it's pendulums, but guys, today and the day before, and the day before that, and the day after that, we're gonna talk with some prank kids, baby. If you guys want some pendulums, you can get your pendulum on www.trivialgaming.com. I already know what it is. You already know what it is. Make sure to get yours now. Here we get hit with the drop list, very sadly. He hit the drop list for three, so it still puts us in a very good position. Sorry, I have to be quiet. There's a lot of people in my house right now. So that's why I'm going to be a little quieter than normal, but that's all good because it's still louder than most. Here we're going to have to bring out the uh, weather washer in this scenario. Uh, he brings out DPE here. It is going to be a battle of DPEs. And uh, it looks like he gets a lot of advantage here. But one thing I was going to keep in mind is that I have three spells, all of which are going to get tremendous value on my turn. So when this rolls around, it's still massive advantage for me. So it's all good. It's all good. Uh, we're going to see what happens here in this scenario. He goes DP, brings up Plasma. Plasma Sally's going to get rid of my card. Uh, Plasma does work like skill drain, so an easy trick to get rid of Plasma is literally just access code talker for cost. I'm getting as much value as possible because literally all these activate in the graveyard. Access code talker does resolve his cost. Uh, that's what gets rid of skill drain. It's where I did exactly like skill drain. Then in this scenario, I just take his DP and go for game. Let's go. A really cool trick there, which you can learn on Patreon. We do lots of cool tricks on Patreon. While you guys are watching this, I'm actually on my way to Charlotte right now for YC Charlotte, and I've decided I will be taking this deck to Charlotte. I think this deck's absolutely incredible, and uh, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, you guys are also going to witness my Montreal vlog tomorrow. I think that one uh, was really fun to make, really amazing time in Mont Montreal. Montreal was some of the best times I ever had, linked up with Coder, and it was just an absolutely amazing time in Montreal. Here, we are still back in TDOT. Uh, I'm going to have to deal with this. Ferris, so you see, I'm trying to read that the Triff glasses, Triff accounting out here, trying to read those. He goes, uh, increase. I'm like, yeah, that's fine. Last time my hand trap didn't increase, I got hit with Dark Law, but I don't even, yeah, it's actually my only hand trap, I believe. Uh, I'm just thinking, I'm like, hmm, what can I eat? What, like, hmm, hmm, how am I going to stop this? And, and Dark Law does destroy my deck, sadly. Uh, it does, really does destroy the deck. Uh, one thing I do want to know, guys, is heroes rough matchup boys rough matchup because under for one dark law makes us all prank kids don't get their effect and for two dpe literally pops prank kid so it's actually a really tough matchup here i go aquamantris he opts not to change his dark law when i added it to my hand and he does it afterwards uh sadly i'm like damn i would have thought he would have done it on that but yeah we're gonna banish that effect to add we still have our tokens out i'm trying to bait out his, his dpe I know someone in prank hit. I've baited out the DP. I have this up. Relinquish Animatra. Get as much value as possible. And then... 
Yeah, we're not going to win this, guys. We're not going to win this. Uh, he's Ghost Holger to get rid of that. He actually has DP in sight this whole time. He's just waiting, I believe. And then, man, there's just no way we could come back and win this game. Uh, he did scythe this entire time. <laughs> you see that? We are going to go on to game number three now. I'm going to go as fast as possible because time is a factor. Time is a factor. So I'm going to go super, 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 super fast here. So I'm going to go Aquamentress. I'm going to bring this out. I make a massive error. I want you guys to pay close attention here, okay? Yeah, instead of breaking... Time is a huge factor. like two minutes left. But unlike your typical Pranked player, I summon fucking Roxy's like an idiot. Instead of Dropsy's or Lampsy's to do the extra damage right away. Absolutely fucking bonehead play. Then I get hit with Ash. Then I get hit with Nib. I believe he, he nibs me in a little bit. I have that. He boom, nib. I'm like, oh my god. I literally didn't burn him for the 500. Are you, are you're actually kidding me. I bounce the nib back to his hand. Go straddle. So I just try and survive here on two tokens. This is where Link Karibo, Link Swider would have been massive. He goes Verte, DPE right off the bat. He attacks for some damage and passes. This is a big grind game. Big grind game here. I DD Crow, double DD Crow. Down to the wire. Literally, holy shit. Verde Anaconda, him burning 2000. That's how I'm up right now in attacks. And I win. At the end of time, time was called and. I had more life points thanks to Verte Anaconda. What an absolutely amazing match. Holy wow. Little tip, you guys saw in the last one, just literally don't forget to, to use Lapsies and Dropsies. Here I'm facing off against my boy John Wilkin. Uh, he, this is a prank and mirror match, so we're gonna see who's gonna win this one. The winner of this is basically the winner of the whole tournament, so <laughs> we'll see what happens here. Uh, I save my my, uh, Crow, my Veiler for the Verte and Crow for the very end. Uh, that way we just gotta deal with this. And now uh, I have the full setup. Uh, this version, I'm playing Magician Souls, but my new version, guys, I cut Magician Souls completely from the deck. I don't think it's required whatsoever. I think it's nice to have, but it's not a combo starter on its own, so I'm not a fan of it for that purpose. Here, we're going to get some extra cards here. Like, well, I was forced to normal some Magician Souls here, you know? Like, if one of these was a prank kid, like, it got the value for all the Magician Souls. I understand we're about to draw. I understand we're drawing, but still. Like, that doesn't matter. It doesn't, like, help prank it in any way, aside from putting a monster on the field. So, yeah, I just go Verte. I save Griffin on the field. And then this, in total, will be exact game on the field because he attempted Verte. He did drops. So he's putting him at 7,000. This will be game, GG. And uh, I'm going to go, go on to game number two here. And I would like to take this moment to mention that my playmats are the most sexy playmats in the universe. And then you guys should get yours now, bro. Let's go. He actually drew Fusion Destiny for pranks, which is hilarious. Absolutely comedy. So, <laughs> you hate to see it, boys. You hate to see it. We're going to go on to game number two over here. And my trick, that, by the way, guys, my trick when you're going second against any heavy combo deck, which I consider prank it because they end on like six interruptions if you don't interrupt them, I highly advise remove DPE and remove Magician Souls when putting like 15 hand traps. Because if you don't open a multiple, multiple hand traps, you, you just lose. You just auto lose. I couldn't hand trap him at this point. He didn't even open right. Like, all I needed was an Ash. I just had one Ghost Hoker where I hit pranks. And then I imperm the Verte, and then he fusion destinies from hand. I'm like, damn. Anyways, I imperm the, the, the DPE right away. Fanzies. You can go Phantasme. I'm like, that's fine. I'm going to go Roxies. Basically, at this point, if there's anything but Nibiru, we are in an absolutely amazing position. Uh, we're going to go pranks. I'm going to be able to old my boy here. Uh, anything but that. So, here we got Lampsies. He drew... Yeah, so he, I'm... Just waiting a bit. I'm waiting. I pranks. I bring out token. I bring out another doodle. The last one's gonna get hit with Ash. I did not expect that Ash. I bring out Nibiru. Sorry, I bring out Verte. I was just gonna bring out a Nib. Uh, but then that gets hit and that doesn't resolve. I'm like, that's unfortunate. I DD Crow his DP and all right, yeah. So we're good there. And uh, we're still gonna lose here, sadly. This game. Ah, uh, he, he had a few too many hand traps for us. It's fine. It's fine. You know, we did our best and uh, we're still not going to scoop yet uh, because we do have Nibiru in our hand and he's at four summons right now. He's a dash effect to get enough before the fifth summon and he got game. So now we're going to game number three. Time is a factor for this one. So we're going to go super fast. And honestly, man, we're kind of disappointed we lost that game. Kind of disappointed. Like we chain blocked every single prank kid except for the very last one. And he did kind of catch us there. We're going to go souls here. Look, what the souls really do? You know, souls drew me one card. Like, like, so what? You know, so what? And, uh, well, so actually, well, he drew me a prank kit, but if souls wasn't there by math, it would have been the prank kit anyways. And we're playing like a 50 card deck. Here we get hit with Nibiru. I'm like, bro, that's sad. Uh, again, if we had Link Haribo in here, we had a Verte. So let that be a lesson, guys. Play Link Haribo, play Link Spider, play both, because then when prank still saves you at the end, 
you'll take the link spider token and then the token here and you'll, you'll be fine uh so he's playing a bit he's adding a bit he's still thinking i have an imperial in my hand so we're, we're still in a good position i let him enter battle phase and now main phase two when he's summoning out more monsters that's when i hit him with the nip he got way too greedy to go with the verte he's gonna shuffle back and uh i'm gonna draw here so i'm gonna bring right over mirrors here i'm gonna bring a veiler i'm like as long as there's no nib like this you can't get nib twice and with uh, like this luck you know like as long as it's out of there we win he ghost ogres the anima and then he nibs us i'm like bro why would you do that oh my god we lost sadly copium bro guys our first loss of prank is alec congrats bro you won of course i won Okay. You got lucky, but you won anyways. A win's a win. A win's a win. We're gonna take it on the chin, and we're gonna learn from it. One thing I learned from this is use Dodo right away. Uh, that would help later, or at least give me more follow up. Uh, maybe not for. I won't. I would at least be able to fusion summon the weather washer. That's what it's called, right? He lost. I won. You got lucky. Whatever. Well, it's still a good game, and we learned the Dodo thing. So moving forward, I, I, play around there. We're gonna do it right a few away. Things, you know. See. There's a difference between a good player and a great player. I don't player. want to, yo, you played it to Nib. I don't even want, you can't talk like that. You can't talk like that. What's the old saying? Uh, know your place. And? Is that what I said to get banned on Bloomberg? I forgot. I forgot. I got banned so many times. I forgot what this one was. Know your place. Ah, uh, that's so close, guys. We, uh, what it could have, should have, like John said. I agree. There's no excuses here. It was a solid match. Great match. That was our first loss with Prank Kid ever uh, in tournament. It is what it is. We learned to use Dodo right away. He had a double nib, and nib does hurt the deck without Griffin. And I just had no answer. I I had no answer to it. It is what it is. But it's all good. You know what? It's all good. Uh, I think we played well, and we're going to play even better for the next one. Round three is about to start right now. We have a double case tournament in, like, fucking 16 hours. So this is our practice for that. We're going to win, and then we're going to win Charlotte. Let's go. Yo, Truman, ready? Yeah. Me versus you. Let's do it. Right. <laughs> that was a great match over there. We ended up now X1. Uh, three one. Wait, how many rounds went by? No, we're two one. So there's two more rounds to go. Let's go, Tino. We're gonna win this one and then win Montreal. You already know what it is. Let's go. Yo, Tristan, did you win? No. No. <laughs> Damn. It's okay. It's okay. You'll Game win the next one. Two is just too uh, slow. Ah, uh, it's all good, bro. Yeah. It's all good. And I'm not gonna be the guy who's like, come on, come on, hurry up, hurry up. It's uh, like it's local. It's not like a good guy, Tristan. Of. Let's go. Turns out I'm facing Tristan. You're telling me virtual mirrors back to back. What the heck? All right, let's go. We just won the last match uh, against my friend Truman. Now we're gonna go another virtual world mirror, uh, not mirror match, but another battle against virtual world. So at the moment we are two one. I didn't show one of the matches, uh, and we're gonna see what we could do here against my boy Tristan. So. Against Virtual World, man, just put up a fuck down in the gates, and they're, they're just not going to win. Especially with double Regeki here. We do get hit with an Imperm, but that just doesn't matter. We set up fancies. We set these up. I'm like, we're good. We're lit. We're lit. We're in a good scenario. We got everything set up properly how we like it. He's going to summon out the Lili. I'm like, okay, no problem. No problem. Loud, loud, nine, nine. And then we're going to pop them all with Butler. And I'm also very aware that he cannot negate the Butler, but it's okay because it did its job. We popped three monsters. He ends up with Fusion Destiny. That's totally fine. I mean, what's one DPE going to do to five cards in the field? <laughs> like, especially when the Prankids can't be destroyed by effects. So this is still a very good scenario for us. Uh, this is going to force him to pass. And there's really nothing you can do in this scenario. When I have multiple cards in hand with this setup, there's really nothing you can do. So we're going to go Doodle here. We're going to get value. And obviously, this game one's going to come to us. Cool tricks like this on Patreon. You already know what it is. And if you guys got this far, smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Vlogs every day. Let's go. There's actually going to be a vlog every single day for the next four days, which is epic. Uh, next five days, actually. Literally, the next five days, upload after upload after upload after, after upload. All that. I'm actually, as we speak right now, staying up until 5 a.m. before I go to Charlotte to make sure before I leave my house that these all these five videos are going to be up. And honestly, they're such a blast to make. And I want this ra uh, random thing I want to say right now. I love you guys, bro. Literally, you guys are keeping me up at 5 a.m. And I love it. I love what I do. I love putting out content. I love looking at the comments after video. You guys warm my heart. And I'm doing this because I fucking love it. So let's go. Just as I mentioned, if I love a Nibiru Gamma. <laughs> what a beautiful feeling. Nibiru Gamma is going to get even better, guys. Nibiru Gamma, Cosmic on his trap, right over Amicia. And the only thing missing is a prank kid. We don't got that, but that's fine. We have three hand traps. We'll right set up. He's, he's at uh, next turn will be lethal. And I believe I have a hand trap in my hand as well. 
And there's just not much he could do. I actually think I have another nib. Yeah, I have another nib here. So I'm going to let him draw as much as he can. <laughs> summon as much as he can. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries. No worries. Knowing he's at lethal next turn. Yeah, like he's at like 1,000 or something like that. And then when I put up the M7, I, I Nibiru. GG. Let's go. We're three and one now. Let's go. <laughs> Sorry, but you're so good. Another victory, guys. We're three and one. One last round. And then off to Montreal we go. To win, let's go. Guess who we face last round? Time to get revenge on that FPK, bro. You're not pulling that shit again. Let me promise you. Let's see, let's see it. Play the FPK. You better not, bro. Man, this match right here, the user put a witness, is truly absolutely absurd. So here, you know, I, uh, my Alchemancer gets Ash. So I go DPE with hand traps. Drytron Nova. He's gonna do some Drytron stuff here. Now, typically, dry, I mean, Drytron's an easy matchup, typically, especially when we win the dice roll. But man, when you don't open a prank kit, it is rough. I'm playing 50-ish something cards with this deck. It was after this match that I realized, bro, like last match, I didn't draw a prank it. This match, I didn't draw a prank it. I didn't draw a prank it earlier in the tournament. Like, bro, you got to play 40 cards. Unless you play 60 with a fuck ton of prank it's like 15 plus. So with that purpose, we're going to definitely be playing prank it. Uh, 40 cards, I think it's just way better. And souls just not required, guys. I'm telling you. Uh, he's going to get value here. I got to Nibiru him. He's going to go down to a DPE battle, and I'm going to win the DPE battle. So it's 1-0 for the Pen God. Let's go. We're going to go on to game number two now. And literally, this is issue of 60. Look at that. I just have too many cards to put in. There's not enough hand traps against every single deck. And Drytron, it's not a deck that's... Uh, the Like, the hand traps you play in Drytron are so different from the hand traps you play for the other meta decks like Sword Soul. Like, Token Collector and Lancia don't do anything. You know, Cherries doesn't do anything. Like, all these cards don't really do anything. Well, I'm not playing Cherries in this version. Here he goes. He, he has a really cool version. I ha Ghost Soul is only hand trap I drew. Uh, actually in 50 cards i do two ghost ogres so at this point i realized i was like man i keep drawing doubles of i, I gotta switch that i gotta change it i think i'm gonna uh change it to 40 and play two ghost ogre and two ash i know a lot of people don't agree with it but i mean when you're playing high traps that are so equal in value such as a ghost ogre and a veiler and a veiler i don't care what anyone says is as much if not more impactful than a ghost ogre when it's paired with another hand trap when it's by itself that's not true but when it's paired with another hand trap it's 100 true he goes dweller and i uh, a pointer uh and he also has the uh, i drew a garbage hand of all prank kids here it's like it's one or the other it's either a fuck ton of prank kids or no prank kids it's like just no in between he goes bethor this is all planned at the end phase a pointer comes back to my hand so i activate a pointer uh, sorry not a pointer uh, i activate this uh, pandemonium from my hand because a pointer will bring it back so i go on weather washer and then on his turn i special these two back and then he goes Trash on nova i'm like i mean I, I know i lose this duel here but i just want to put up something uh he's gonna start attacking access code my like, yeah, guys game we're gonna go to game three so now for game number three all i need to do is just not brick because you need to draw any prank kid the duel's over so i make sure power shuffle i'm like there's no way we're not gonna draw a prank kid after like four times in this tournament not seeing it at all we're playing a big prank kid number in the deck i shuffle a bunch i'm like yeah, it has to be here my opponent cuts the deck uh he's gonna shuffle a bit as well I also know my hand trap stop him and man this match something unbelievable happens look at this magician souls pass like you guys see why magician souls is ass like it doesn't do anything like it's actually just not good i don't care what anyone says it's not good in this deck now this is where the absolute unthinkable happens so one is a hand trap battle here is dweller versus this i'm like damn what should i do here what should i do my hands ass i have a ghost ogre in my hand right now i'm like he has a token collector in the graveyard i'm like damn now that he has randomly got token collector i can't write but that's, i force him to do that being able to search griffin so i could get a free monster in the field and uh, I discarded my Ghost Ogre over Dasher. I have Dasher. Gaga ga, ga, Cowboy. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? He had no way to out my Griffin and he had Gaga ga, Cowboy to out it. I'm actually so sick. Gaga ga, Cowboy just won him the game. I'm sick. Oh my God. I never thought I'd see this card ever again. Man. Ah, what a. Oh. What goes around comes around, boys. It's all good. We're about to lose eventually. It's all good. GG's, bro. We lost this. Same guy will that decayed us. I got Cowboy for game, bro. No way. You got attack effect, which is even worse. You got Cowboy for game. Yeah, that's redemption. You use the attack effect for game. Yeah. It gains you deserve that. That's for one song. I'm joking. I don't even know what to say, boys. 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 Oh, Who the fuck plays cowboy? Guys, that was probably the worst L I've ever taken in my life. I'm speechless. I don't even know what to say. I have to drown my sorrows in some food right now. I'm hella mad. I'm gonna go get some. You already know, boys. Shawarma fries. You already know what's good, bro. 
Game Nation shawarma fries. Gotta get some more food after that. Gotta get some snacks. Because that was the biggest L of all time, dude. So we're gonna need to drown that in some beautiful food. Let's go. Do you guys have some more fresh baklavas by any chance? Wanted. The winner of the next Montreal tournament. That's me. We might have lost today, but we're gonna win tomorrow. Let's go. See you guys in tomorrow's video. Tournament's over. It went all right. We didn't win, but it's all good. Our deck performed nice. We lost the fucking gog like a cowboy. Absolutely absurd. It is right now Friday night. Saturday. It's Saturday. We are gonna go to Montreal right now. Next vlog, we are at Montreal, double case tourney. Let's go, baby, I'm excited. Card brawlers, I'm about to be card destructed by the pen god, the prank god, baby. Let's go, see you guys in the next video. Also, smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, check out the play by and go on Patreon and sign up to play Yu-Gi-Oh! And shit, sign up now, smash the subscribe button, we'll see you guys in the next video, peace.